Hey guys, I'm Nirpom with Blue Water Photo and the Underwater Photography Guide. I'm here today at Ultralight Control Systems with Ken Kolowitz. And uh, yeah, we're going to just kind of give you a walkthrough of uh, the factory per se and show you guys some cool ultralight products, uh, arms, clamps, and anything beyond that you can use to help mount things onto your underwater camera system. Sounds good, Nira Palm. And uh, let's see, so as you mentioned, Ken Kolowitz. So I was a mechanic for 31 years for the county of Ventura. And I ended up meeting Dave and Terry who owned Ultralight many years ago through the uh, Underwater Photographic Club. Uh, eventually they said, hey, we're looking for somebody that we need to help build some clamps. And at that time I would do anything for money. So, you know, like all of us starving people. So anyways, I started building clamps and doing other little things for them. Eventually that turned into building more parts and eventually that turned into they wanting a full-time person. So about the time they wanted that, I was not quite ready to retire, but uh, about two years after that, I was able to retire at the county, like I said, for 31 years. I went to work for Dave and Terry. I worked for them for about eight years. And in March of 2020, I ended up buying the company and moving it to, Camp, to Oxnard. It used to be in Camarillo, but I moved it to Oxnard in the warehouse that you see now, and this has worked out perfect. Uh, and I'm having a great time doing it and we're coming out with all kinds of new products and parts and all kinds of things. So if anybody has anything they want to see in particular, call and let me know. Yeah, that's kind of one of my favorite things about Ultralight now that Ken is running the show. There's a lot of new cool stuff and uh, the, Ken's done some custom pieces, which has been really, really cool to see uh, for, you know, new things that people can do underwater. So we're going to run through a few of those. Uh, I'll show you guys the factory and um, yeah, it should be pretty cool. All right. And as you'll see, we have a big factory here. You know, some people think this is, uh, even though we sell worldwide, that we would have a really large space. And in fact, we don't because it works out great. Our machinist is about two miles in one direction. Our anodizers about two miles the other direction. Our stainless and uh, uh, stainless hardware and stainless guy who does stainless work for us is about uh, half a mile to a mile that direction. So everything is close, built with U.S. materials, and it's all hand assembled right here. Sweet. So let's check it out. Yeah. So as you see, we've got a good organization of things. So when we get parts. We get them in the raw aluminum, which would be like this. Sometimes we have to tumble them because uh, like the arms we have have some little sharp edges. So we have a tumbler, then we tumble them. Then they sit here until we're ready to anodize the parts. Uh, once the parts are anodized, the type three anodizing, that would be this black coating. Uh, we do do stuff in color as some of you might have seen, that's in a type two anodizing, which is a little thinner. The coating is not as thick as the black. This black is very durable and is probably the best we have. So once we get that, we assemble everything as in like these clamps. All this stuff is hand assembled right here. The bolt goes in, you put the spring, the washer, all that stuff. So everything we have that has pins mounted in them, uh, whatever. It's all done here in the factory. So other than that, we have all our stuff that's ready to go. Uh, this is our extra inventory. Then we have the extra hardware with the stainless supplies, our shipping supplies. And um, we ship, like I mentioned, worldwide. We have dealers all over the world. We also do direct sales if somebody needs something. Not all of our dealers carry everything that we have. So if you need something and you can't find it, just call or email us. We can take care of it directly for you. Uh, and other than that, let's see, we have, as you see, we have our machinery in this area where we build some of the parts. And uh, our tumblers back in the back in that box. Uh, but other than that, this is our uh, setup right here and it works out great. Cool, and you have uh, offices over here? Yes, so over we have two here. offices. We have our office manager, Toki's office here. Uh, Toki does all our images, 
that's one of her specialties. So she either does stuff here in our little uh, light box or she'll set up a whole studio in the back of the uh, warehouse for some of the bigger stuff like the big camera images. Uh, she does all the images, like I said, for our website, for whatever we're using them for. So uh, that's great. And then I have my office here which I don't spend as much time in because I'm usually out in the warehouse. Or diving. Yes, or diving. <laughs> diving is very important. <laughs> and then we have over here our table where we get orders together. Um, all the boxes here are stuff that's ready. It's all ready to go. So as we get an order, we'll pull from those boxes. We'll package things accordingly and uh, ship it off to you. Awesome. Well, thanks for the tour. Yeah. Um, with that, we can talk about some cool ultralight uh, gear and some ideas that uh, Ken has put together for um, you know underwater photographers and different applications and video. Yeah. So um, Ken also does a lot of uh, cinema gear at Ultralight. So if you are into cinematography as well as underwater shooting, uh, Ultralight is the way to go. Definitely. Uh, a lot of people don't realize that the cinematography industry actually takes up probably 60% of our sales and underwater is about 40%. Uh, that, since I bought the company, I've been focusing a lot on both, but actually a lot more on the cinematography end because I've got some brand ambassadors that have really been helping me out there and I don't you know, know that industry as well as I should. But I like to think outside the box uh, and I can visualize stuff good. So I always tell people if there's something you want to put together and you look at our website, you're not sure what to use, call me, I'll help you out. So we have uh, one thing that I always wanted to build and I did after I got the company is this crossbar. Uh, and this works out great with a camera like the Sea Life or you could have an Olympus camera or something here. But with the crossbar, you can mount your arms from here, you can mount some lights, and you can mount a GoPro or any other uh, video camera like the Sea Life that mounts with a quarter 20 threaded bolt. So this is a good option and it keeps everything nice and sturdy. We also have just come out with a new video tray, which is our TRGPDW. It's a wing tray. And you can put any of our handles on this wing tray uh, and you can use a ball mount or not. Uh, I actually have this arm here because I needed some floats. So I put the big floats on the arm and I can still run clamps here with my lights and it works out perfect. Uh, but another thing that I tested on this, I went to Roatan a little over a month ago, was I wanted to make it a tripod and it worked out really fantastic. So we have some new arms. These are rod arms. They're DB06 and a DB09, and we already sell a, a DB03 rod arm. But these are really light, but very sturdy, and for this, it gives it a lot of stability to mount so you can have a tripod. But the cool thing about this is I'm also using this cutout clamp here. So the cutout clamp, as you can see, this is how most clamps are. But with the cutout clamp, you can go over like this. So now you can see there's a totally different new angle there that most people are not even accustomed to doing. This brings up a whole new realm of possibilities because there's a lot of times when you can use this cutout clamp for strobes, you can, you could take them and completely flip them over like this and use the strobes lighting this direction with a the camera. There's so many more things. So to show you a little better, we have our, uh, this is our extra long clamp. It's AC CSL XL. It's six inches from end to end. And we have cutouts on these now too, including our CSL and our CSFK clamp. Uh, and on these we do double cutouts. A lot of the double cutout is good for the cinematography industry, but like I mentioned, for underwater guys, there's a lot of possibilities.
I just wanted to show up a close up view of how the cutouts look for the camera. If yes. I can, uh, there we go. So, Call back. <laughs> yeah, so your, so your right arm would basically go right in there. Yeah, so most of the time you go like this, but now with the cutout you can go all the way like that. So you can see something totally new there. So that's really cool. Uh, we also make, this is a brand new item that we're making too. It's a lanyard, which works really well. Uh, this is something I've been working on for years because I wanted a lanyard with a clip big enough that I can get my fingers in like a stage bottle. And this is a stage bottle uh, snap bolt. So I can put it on real easy, take it off. Uh, if I use anything smaller, and I come up from the dive half the time, I can't even remove it. I have to have the dive master take it off at the ladder and it just creates a lot of problems. So, and any, the, oh, go ahead. Oh yeah, one of the things that I really like about this lanyard is the fact that um, sometimes what I do when I dive is uh, I'll have it around my wrist um, and that just gives me a little bit of play so I can just carry it and know that if I drop it, it'll hold. Um, but another really nice thing about the lanyard is the fact that there's a lot of uh, distance. So I've been able to clip it and on almost every dive I've done with it, I've never really needed to, uh, to unclip <clears throat> the lanyard for myself in order to get the angle that I want with the camera. So I really like the fact that as soon as you unclip it, you have a lot of play. So. Exactly, and this is a stainless steel coil that's co coated with plastic and it's crimped so you know, if anything breaks, it might be the plastic buckle, but even if that did, nothing's gonna break and a way to where you lose your camera, or your video setup or whatever. So also, this is my rig. I had this out uh, Saturday, driving the Palawan, the Avalon, and we did PV, and actually Near Palm was out there with us. Um, I had some new products on here that I'm testing. So uh, here's a cool thing. So we make, a, 20 and a 24 inch long lanyard to hold up your camera. But I always wanted to put my, I always wanted to hook up the lanyard at a high spot. Some people hook them onto these T-knobs. The problem with the color T-knobs though is because the coating is a little thinner, they scratch easier. And I didn't want that. So I ended up coming up with this plate. It, Take, basically, you take the washer out that you have in there, you put the stainless steel plate in there, and uh, you do that, and you got a great way to hold the camera. It's strong, it doesn't mess up anything, you don't have to hook it into an arm, whatever. Uh, so that works out really great. But what I have here too is, I actually have some new handles, which are not really on the market yet, and this long tray here. So this long tray, the idea is to make everything solid. And this tray is a little long, but you can mount a ton of stuff from it if you want. Uh, and this ball is one that I really like because of the angle. You could mount this ball here. You can mount it off of anywhere if you want to, especially if you want to mount something and get a long clamp with a light way out past a port. You could do that. Um, but this tray here is mainly a combination of underwater and cinematography use because there's some extensions that go on the end that swivel, that handles go on, and the, under, the uh, cinematography guys mount uh, three seven inch monitors on that and they hold it with their hands. So this is something new. You'll be seeing a video on it coming out. Uh, this is a new knob that you're gonna be seeing something really new soon about. I've done a lot of testing on this knob. Uh, and this, of course, you can tell is my prototype. Yeah, so, we'll come out with something on Blue Water so you yeah. guys can see the knob, but it's um, it's great if you have arthritis or have trouble uh, you know, clamping down, it gives a little bit more torque. Yes, definitely, and it gives you more uh, hand you can get your hand on it better. But anyways, this is what I've been using. Uh, I change it up every once in a while to show off some new things and uh, I'm having a great time doing it. And like I said, I get to go out diving. Uh, so I'm diving a lot and I get to test all this stuff out and have fun and see how it is in the real world. Thanks Ken for showing me your setup. Um, oh, glad to. 
One thing that I also wanted to mention about uh, this new uh, TRGPDW tray is the fact that the arms are a little bit behind whatever camera you decide to mount. And that's great if you're shooting video or photos because uh, your lights are going to be a little bit farther from that lens, which reduces backscatter or particulates that you get in your video. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention. That's why this uh, shape is designed that way. And it just really helps you get better uh, images and better image quality overall. So. Uh, also, if you have any kind of flip tray, uh, flip covers, the filters, you can flip them and not be in the way of anything. So yeah, it's a, it's actually a really nice tray and I have to say it looks pretty cool too. <laughs> anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Uh, I will be putting down in the description below uh, all of these part numbers so that if you want to do any of these uh, types of mounts, you can. Uh, and there'll be links to those uh, parts in the description below. If you have any questions at all, make sure you drop a comment below or email us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com. And if you have any specific requests, uh, any custom builds or anything that you want to do, just send us an email. Uh, we'll get it all figured out. Um, there's a wide range of ultralight products that'll really help you do almost anything you want underwater. And if we're stumped, we'll, we'll talk to Ken. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we just wanna make sure that you guys are able to get out diving and get what you want. Uh, to do done so all right thank you and happy diving yeah thanks Ken it's been a pleasure all right yep thanks <laughs> <laughs>